Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Indie Rundown Podcast. This is Zach Salazar alongside my co-host, Mike Tula. Be sure to follow us on Twitter and Instagram real quick at the Indie Rundown Podcast. Head on over to Facebook. Check us out at the Indie Rundown Podcast. We got another uh, short film review today. Um, what are we talking about today, bro? We're talking about Kristen Perry's short film that she just released called Facing the Black. It's a short drama. Mm. Uh, I released this year. Again, a quick synopsis is when a female working cop accidentally kills a young girl, she stares death in the face as she fights her one true demon, suicide. So that's it in a nutshell. It also stars Joe Perez, who is a stand-up dude. I met Joe at uh, on the set of, of Dreamsville that was shot here in Houston. And the guy was on it he was he knew he was super prepared but more importantly the guy was having the most fun out of it seemed like he was having the most fun out of everybody on that set <laughs> but uh that's just the kind of guy he is he's a good dude you can see why he works a lot he's uh, and he's good at what he does so it's a great casting choice to put joe bettis in this film um and i was uh you know kind of delighted to see the diff- the other characters in the the other actors in the film, too, as this was shot in Austin, and uh, I always like to see new faces whenever I can. Yeah, I agree. Um, yeah, knowing Kristen as well as I do, I, I haven't talked to her as much as I have in the past, but I know she's 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 got such good determination, man. I mean, I could tell what she was trying to do with this. I mean, it's so emotional. It's so gripping. Uh and, and I know, and I know her her mentality, how she works. Like she wants to put on the best performance. She wants to dig down and and get real gritty with it. But um, yeah, props to her, man. Uh, she I think she directed it. She wrote it. She put up, I, she put up the budget for it. I think she she did everything, man. She was she was a, a Kristen of all trades, basically. Um, very impressed by her with this. Very impressed. Yeah, she wrote and directed it, and I have been a fan of. Her as a filmmaker, she did. Uh, she put together a, a badass trailer for, I believe it was a feature. Uh, it was Fractured Diamond, and oh, that yeah. one is, it's not yeah. on her IMDb anymore. But I went to the gala of it. I think it was in 2014 or what have you. It was right here off uh, in a Montrose neighborhood, and it was very well put together. It was impressive, and to see that she put it together, and to see that what I liked was the fact that again, this is the second. I, I, I guess I've never seen a film that she has done other than this one, but I've seen the trailer of the, the Fractured Diamond. If I'm, you know, it's not on her IMDb anymore, but um, it was it was exploring. I just like the topics that she explores. I like the themes that she explores. I like relationships. I like, you know, topics like that. And, uh, yeah. you know, I think this one, you know, Facing the Black, stylistically, it was all in her head. Her meaning the main character who was, you know, uh, Officer Sanders, played by Kristen Perry. Mm -hmm. And it really explored mental health, which, uh, you know, is is always interesting. It's not often explored in in, in independent films. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Um, They uh, exploring mental health and the way it was shot, it was all in her head, all in Officer Sanders' head. It seemed like a dream. It seemed almost like a... It had like a lost highway feel <laughs> in in that sense. It, it, I like how also how it explored the effects, the ripple effects of mental health on people, whether it is something that she was suffering with before and this accident really ratcheted it up or whether it was something that came about because of this accident. You know, I can't imagine you're an officer, you're on your way to an emergency and you run over somebody you know, um, much less <laughs> you kill a young girl. Um, and it was very well done. Um, just stylistically, the way they shot, again, you have limitations when you're doing this as an indie short. Yep. And you have police officers involved. You have, you know, police stations involved, so so to speak. You have uh, an op- access to a patrol vehicle, which looked legit. And... Small details like that really go a long way into looking out for the audience because I just liked how it progressed. I mean, this was eight minutes, but you got a lot of the characterizations 
the characterizations were, uh, you know, in the film was very well. It wasn't, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. You saw you saw the exposition that was coming about via the conflict, which was great. You saw that we were introduced to the uh, you know the girlfriend when she came home, and and you can <laughs> tell she's disconnecting. And I, again, I was I was I'm, I was kind of saying I don't want to delve into spoiler territory, but I guess we're not up until the very end. But it was fun to see people fall apart. And again, Joe Perez playing the compassionate uh, you know police chief. You can tell the chemistry between him and Kristen. There, are, you can tell that he respected, you know, Officer Sanders uh, from her previous work. You can tell that he's concerned with with what's going on mm-hmm. with with Officer Sanders. But it's a stigma if you admit to it. You know what I mean? It's a yeah. stigma to talk about. It's a stigma to have. But you know, uh, it's an equal problem, man. This this goes from top to bottom. This is anybody. And I've seen this even, you know, with uh, you know, people in my life as well. So that ability to talk, uh, that ability to seek help, that ability to just recognize that you have a problem. A lot of people struggle with it. A lot of people are, are in denial, and they can go through their whole lives. They can go through their whole lives and and totally wreck, essentially wreck wreck their life cause all this havoc and we saw this we saw it leading up to the climax right right like will yeah why why isn't why isn't officer sanders just you know owning up to her demons what what she's going on everyone knows what happened mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. you got to call it in you know you you, you kill someone in a hit and run is an accident yeah but you know it's understandable so Again, I, it's a good film. I, I, I enjoyed it. Yeah. It was. Uh, yeah. It wasn't. It didn't seem self-serving. You know, there was a good message involved, and stylistically, I liked the way it was shot. I liked that dreamlike sequence. I liked the text that was coming up. Mm-hmm. Um, the echoed voices and stuff. Very good was, touch. It was different. It was a nice touch. I liked the fact that we're in we're in Officer Sanders' head the whole time. We see how this incident affects her, not only her, but how it affects everyone around you. Yeah. Or everyone, the people closest to her, the people that care about her. Again, uh, Chief Daniels, uh, Ashley, uh, her, her girlfriend, and the effect that it has. Again, if you don't address, if you, if you don't speak up, if you don't take care of yourself, the problem and the, and the issue just keeps getting worse exponentially. So, yeah. Uh, I thought I thought it was a very good job. I thought it was a very good job, and yeah, and, yeah, and I yeah. Hope me too. That, me too. I hope I hope that Kristen continues. And I know that she will, because <laughs> you can tell she loves doing this. But I, I hope that she continues to make, um, create projects for, uh, not only for herself but for other people as well, and uh, good casting as well. Again, like I said uh, before, uh, Joe. Again, I'm, I'm going to put up his IM, pull up his IMDb. I'm gonna, I know he works a lot. He's like the he's like the <laughs> him and John Maisie. I can see who has the most great. Got 11 credits on his IMDb, <laughs> but this guy has, he's just a solid pro, man. I mean, he he's hes good. And you can tell just, you know, uh, he made some strong choices in his acting. You can tell that he doesn't, I'm not going to give it away, but I mean, you, could, right, you, you, can, right. you can tell that the, the relationship be, was established and the chemistry between him and Chris. And I already said this before, I'm rambling on, but it was fun. Yeah, absolutely. I enjoyed it myself. Um, like I said, I, I like what she implored, the themes, pretty much everything you said, I'm piggybacking off of that because you kind of took the words right out of my mouth. But yeah, I enjoyed it, man. I really like what she did with this. Um, she's a good writer, man. She, she knows how to get inside the characters' heads and really flesh out a story. Um, so hopefully, like you said, she, she continues this up. So, But um, yeah, the uh, the short's up on YouTube right now. We'll throw a link to it on our Facebook page or whatever. And actually, um, we're going to be interviewing her. She's going to call in. Uh, here pretty soon so we'll, we'll actually get to talk to her about the making of this film and other things of that sort so I'm really looking forward to that um, you got anything else to add brother? no again Facing the Black uh, check it out be sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at The Indie Rundown and like our Facebook page The Indie Rundown Podcast again it's Mike it's Zach it's another indie review send us your short film or feature film and we'll gladly review your project it's The Indie Rundown Podcast We're out.